Hello, welcome to Hobby Man Productions. I'm your man, um, Hobby Man. I'm doing a review this time. I'm doing a review on the titanium um, um, Star Wars uh, ships. Let me show you the box. This is called the titanium diecast. Here it goes right here from the Clone Wars um, um, the movie. It says that this set is exclusive from um, Toys R Us, but I did not get it from Toys R Us. I got this from Rosie's. There was, um, there, I guess there's a lot of the stuff they had in stock from um, Toys R Us. They probably sold to Rosie's. So this is the box. I already previewed these. I already opened it. So this is the front of the box, as you can see. Here's the side. Let me give a better view on that like that. And here's the other side of the three ships. This is called the titanium. Is in the titanium. It says it include uh, display stands. So it's three small ships. I'm going to show off all three ships for you. If you're watching, you ever seen a movie where they had the um, the pod races? So this is one of the ships right here. As you can see, got the word um, Star Wars on the on the front of it. Is on the clear base um, stand right there with one of the part uh, racers. It's the clear, um, it's clear on top and everything. That's the stand. This is one of the ships. You can always take it off and attach it on there like that so it can look nice on a nice display. That's one. Here's another one. Also here on a nice display, the clear stand. Um, I have not opened it up, but I saw reviews on it. But mind you, more like them stands you'll see on the speed of bikes a little bit. And also had a clear top. Nice, nice contrast on the orange and the um, silver. Got a nice little bit of wash on there on the front. As you also you can see that. I will show these out all three of the ships again at the end of the video. Nice paint job on that. Nice also has a nice weight to that on on the ships. And the last one I'm showing you is right here. I think this is also more like the the heaviest one out of all the uh, the ones you have. You like the detail on the back, as you can see on there, the engine parts. Um, do mind your I'm I I've had to admit mind you a little bit on the shape of it, a little bit of the aluminum falcon. And do like the, but if you if you really pay attention to it, and if you lose your mind a little bit, does does look like the Death Star look a, a little bit to me also. It also had a player stand on that one, but like I said, this is more the heavy out of uh, out of all three. It does pivot and moves today. No moving parts on there. So I hope you enjoy my um, di titanium diecast review on my S Star Wars stuff. You can always put the rest of your Star Wars figures in the background. So I think it would look good with any, you know, projects you're going to do, or dioramas or anything like that. So here's these two. And I will show off the la the other one that I show first. There you go, guys. So hope you enjoyed the review. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. Oh, and um, thank thanks again. Um, for the people who uh, subscribe to my page and left uh, comments and stuff, good and bad. So this is your um, Hobby Man out. So, uh, see you on the next review with, um, with the Hobby Man. And enjoy your collection. And I'll talk to you all later. And everybody have a good day.